All right, everybody, welcome back to Box Souls. This is uh, part eight of the series, and in this episode, uh, we're just going to clear up a couple of things uh, that we didn't get around to in the last episode. Here we are at uh, the entrance to the depths where we left off. First of all, that's me. Hello there. And uh, as you can see here, uh, for, we got quite a lot of souls. We got quite a long way back to a bonfire. And I don't want to tackle the depths just yet. There's another couple of things I want to take care of first. So first of all, I'm going to take a bit of a gamble here. I couldn't remember which was the last bonfire I rested at. It was a gamble. It was going to be one of two. Uh, but I thought rather than fight my way back, uh, and I haven't used one of these in the vid, so I'll use a homeward bone to get there. Bingo bango, here we are at Firelink Shrine. It was not the one I thought I was going to arrive at. I actually thought I was going to be back at Undead Berg. Uh, just from the, the, you know, the saves that had happened in between the captures, I thought that was where I was going to go back. So, really, that is where i got to get to. Uh, and just to save you having to see that through the magic of editing, I'll say, bye bye And uh, look at this. Yeah, here you get. So, I fought my way up here. And uh, while I was doing that, it occurred to me, you know what, I've got a couple of things to, to go through in this area with you guys. So, since uh, I haven't started capturing yet, why don't I just go on a murder death kill frenzy and just clear every dead guy out of this whole place. So, you know what, that is exactly what I did. So, all these bone bros that would normally be... Dashing in and griefing me right there. All cleared out of the way. Let's get straight down to business, folks. So, uh, first of all, to do uh, to do the first one of our missions here, we're gonna we're gonna go down and free somebody that we bypassed last time. But to get to oh, him, there you are, still keeping your marbles all together. We're gonna have to go deal ahead. with this guy Back again. Yuck. Never hurts to splurge when your days are numbered. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. You big weirdo. Anyway. <clears throat> Although we have the master key, the place that we want to get into, we do actually need the residence key for. Now, the master key will open up most of the doors that we've needed to get into in Undead Berg so far. But this one special door, you do need the residence key for. So since we've got a, I want to say conservatively, a buttload of souls here, then we can go ahead and buy that for a thousand souls. And also, just while I'm here, so uh, just top the, uh, top the arrows up <laughs> to the nice even 100. So uh, we're going to uh, now head straight back there. We're going to use uh, one of the shortcuts that we opened up last time. Uh, this uh, cheeky little shortcut with, uh, see I've already cleared out all of this. Yep, where we'd normally be getting griefed by those uh, firebomb dudes up there. And if you notice up there, there is an item. We're going to come back to that. Somehow we've missed that fella. So I'm going to go pick that up soon but first of all just uh, this sneaky back door maneuver and uh, down that corner of death again already cleared out the demon dog so we don't have them to worry about this didn't really it didn't take that much time it was like I don't know five minutes of, of no well including getting getting back to Windedberg probably ten minutes Tops, just to clear all this out and just give us a free run to get where we're going now. So last time uh, we just plowed straight down there. We took out the dogs and then moved straight onto the uh, assassins. They're not ninjas. They're assassins, guys. That was my bad on the last voiceover. But we didn't investigate this area. And that means we didn't come across... Somebody. Please let me out of here. This. Somebody. Anybody. Help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? So the master key doesn't open this, unfortunately, but that residence key does. And this is worth it uh, for two reasons. Firstly, we're going to free this bro. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my dun dun. Oh, hello. I'm fine. 
So just uh, see out his dialogue. As uh, you know, always always try and do that when you meet an NPC like this. Just expire the dialogue to uh, to the end of it. All he's basically telling us is, uh, uh, "Thanks very much, and I'll see you at Firelink." Oh hello, I'm fine. I have my. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Also, we see that dude there in the corner, and we know that normally means uh, Tharby treasure. I was going to say booty, but uh, he's, uh, well, he's presenting himself. And look at this! All this cool shit. So, although we're likely not going to be doing it on this playthrough, I don't know, I really have no idea what's going to happen once we reach a certain point, guys. But um, one of the reasons why I skipped the uh, character selection, <clears throat> excuse me, at the start of the, uh, the very, very, very start of the game, one of the reasons I, I skipped capturing all that was because I was aware that as the game progressed, you could kind of turn your character into whatever you wanted through leveling up and, and acquiring gear anyway. So I kind of skipped all that. Um, the result of my uh, current build is that I haven't been able to wield any magic of any kind. And now, if we want, that's an option. It's there. Uh, but, you know, we'll come back to that later on down the line. Since we were, you know, since we just dealt with this area, I thought it was worth uh, going and freeing that dude and uh, just having the option there if we want it later on. And I guess uh, that's, you know, I was going to say sage advice, but no, <laughs> mage advice. Yeah, stroke your beard. Good joke. Well, not really, but I'm trying my best. Anyway, so what we're about to do here is encounter a new enemy type. Or should I say an old enemy type, but with an upgrade. It's our good buddies, the Hollows, who've gone from having broken little short swords to full swords. And now, they got these frickin' torches. Now, they do the same, if you watch these guys, it's the same attacks that we've seen these Bellends doing for the whole game so far. There's the Frenzy attack, uh, there's a big swing. So you already know the, the attacks and how to defend them. It's just being wary because now that they're carrying these uh, torches, then they're going to hit you for a buttload of damage if they catch you with one of those. So that is why I, I uh, just while I was jibber jabbering there, that's why I switched to a heater shield just for this little section because they actually uh, they defend 10% better against uh, fire attacks than the night shield. So again, just kind of, you know, just... I mean, I'm not going to have any trouble with these guys. Like I say, the attacks are very familiar by now, easily telegraphed, and very easy to avoid. And in fact, boom, we're just getting these guys doing the same shit over and over. But uh, worth it, even though this is a little dead end, just to clear that out, grab some twin humanities there. And uh, that is now, like all of these, uh, this whole little bit, now, I'm going to say at this point, as far as I know, this is all a dead end, but I know what this game is like. There's a real good chance that we'll end up above there or below there on the other side of those freaking bars or something uh, at a future point. But if I do, then, you know, I, I won't be calling myself a fool. I called it right there. I was curious about that little corner, but I don't think there's anything down there. So let's get the F out of Dodge, my friends. I'm uh, since I'm since I've had to watch these back uh, while I've been editing them. So occasionally, very conscious of how much how much effing I do. You know, as I suppose my mum would say. So I'm trying to keep a lid on that. Only use it. Uh, what is it? There's a great quote from uh, Ben Elton, and this is going. I've known this for many, many, many years. Probably 30 years. I've I've known this quote. Uh, he was told off about his stand-up by his mama. And uh, she said, uh, you should use the F word as an exclamation point and not a comma. Yeah, good advice, Mama Elton. And all these years later, this Dark Souls playing fool is uh, sticking to it. So this is, uh, all right, that's my little anecdote aside. You might recognize this turf where I warned you earlier on, we ain't going to go down here yet because there's a big ass black knight. Well, the time has come, my friends. You see beyond him there, there's an item. And that is actually going to be useful for the next area we're going to go into. Can I pull this off a little? Mm! How you like me there, suck up? I really didn't think I was going to get that. I don't think I've ever pulled off a, a, a an untriggered backstab on one of these boys before. So that was a real treat. 
Uh, so I've obviously triggered him now. I'm going to get out of that tight little corridor down there. Uh, I've, I'm going to draw him all the way up here. Now these guys, they're not actually, once you get used to them, they're not actually that tough to fight. I'm actually going to show you how you can take out this dude here in this area. Zero sweat. It's kind of a cheat, but also kind of not. Basically, this big bro. Hey, bro, Ham Lincoln down there. Uh, he can't climb ladders. Bless him. He, can, he cannot climb the ladder, sir. It is a little ladder, and he cannot climb the little ladder. Oh, dear. So uh, he's now stuck down there and uh, getting his, uh, getting his uh, nightly panties in a bunch because he can't get up to me. And uh, I'm going to really just take the piss and um, see this first few. He blocked, he blocked away a couple of those. So you maybe think that this uh, technique, you know, it's not going to wash. But you let him have a few blocks. And this again is why having a hundred arrows is never a bad thing. But he'll occasionally get a, a, few, uh, a few blocks in. Just persevere. Keep chipping away at him. Again, these are only standard arrows, so... Hopefully, these plus the, uh, the the initial backstab there is really going to take no time at all. But this is like you can you can take on this guy much easier than I have in these videos using this technique. You can take him out first time you visit this area, this area, sorry, and uh, and get this item. It's uh, it's not going to take much longer. All right, so let's just finish him off with. Tick and done. All right. So now the the uh, black knight's been moided. Yeah, I'll have a little boyakasha for that. So now he's out of the way. Just uh, skip on back here, and uh, let's go grab the item that was uh, that he was guarding down there. Now this is it, just a little dead end here. Blue Tearstone Ring. This, let's just check this out for a second, because this is going to be... Oh man, yeah, this comes in really handy. Boost defense when you've got low HP. Basically, once your health, uh, once you take a, a real beat down, and your health gets down to a certain level, then it will instantly, automatically boost your defense. So, I mean... Super handy. It's a shame it only kicks in uh, when, you know, you're already getting battered. But it can be really helpful. Uh, especially on some of the uh, mini-boss encounters when you run into them for the first time. Just go check out what's down here. Oh, of course, it's nothing. Just a hideous drop that someone like me who doesn't like heights will go, Ooh, let's get out of here. Yeah, that ring will... Um, for, for future areas, especially when you're you're running into kind of things blind, you're dealing with mini bosses for the first time. Uh, you know that that could be really handy, even if just buying you a bit of time to get the hell out of there. All right, now just while this air, this whole area was cleared, I'll just show you this door. Through that door, man, is have all the rock. Speaking of mini bosses, now that dude dropped something super helpful, uh, but it's also a Really tough boss fight. I'm going to come back to it at some later time because uh, on a pretty good roll for, for the stuff that I'm going to do next and the next area I'm going to go, the drop that he gives isn't really essential. So we're just going to leave that for now. Instead, we're just going to grab this item that we uh, spotted earlier on, grab that from up here, and then we're going to sprint back to Phylink Shrine. So uh, please enjoy this interlude. Right. Uh, so I hope I don't get a copyright strike for using Benny Hill's music. <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll see. Under such compromising circumstances, at least we both made it back unscathed. Oh, here's our boy uh, Griggs that we just uh, released. Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. 
He's just giving us bits of stories, so I'll just let him. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. And pray that you never go hollow. Okay, I think that's... Oh, hello. Terrific yeah, I think that's all of his dialogue done, so... Uh, one other thing before we uh, clear out of this place altogether. Now, check this out. Our uh, cleric buddy, suddenly, uh, he got his homies. Oh, well, let's hello. find out what's going on here. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. No, I'm not done with you yet. Oh, hello. Miracles, I presume? Yes, I know. Let's, uh... We don't really need to buy anything. An Let's try and find out mission? more about what's Regrettably, going on. I cannot share that with you. But you are my pupil. Perhaps if you show your faith. So, yep, we're just going to go ahead with this. we got the souls to spare, so why not? Very well. I can surely tell you, of all people, undead clerics are given a mission to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires with humanity. Through kindling, we shall one day be granted magnificent powers. Oh, oh. well, whatever you say. Rhea is the youngest daughter of the good house of Thurland. Those young knights are her old schoolmates, but I'm not sure what to make of them. I'm afraid they may be a bad influence. Rhea is the youngest daughter. Those so, but yeah, I'm that's, uh, that's all he's got to say Come to us again. for now. The effectiveness Just have a quick shout with these guys um, before, we, before we clear out of there. Anyway, like, as always, you run into NPCs, <laughs> then, you know, at least see if there's hmm? anything doing with them. What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. <laughs> oh, thanks, dude. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Oh, you don't suppose we can help? That is not cool, man. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. He's uh, prejudiced against me, I'm you know, just because her. I'm and Nico well, too. I can't not alive. Well That's a fair man. point, I suppose. Oh, it's you. We're yeah, nothing momentary. else for this bro to say. Catkins aren't exactly my idea of a good time, but what can one do? I do hope we meet again, Rary or not. Just double check. Oh, it's you. We're to yeah. leave. Click, Rary click, click. All right, now we'll just try and have a chat with this young You're lady. You're dead as well, and we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission, and you, no doubt, have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Okay. Now this, I think I just tried this. Because they were talking about like, oh, don't you dare talk to her like that. I thought maybe if I go and, uh, you know, change myself into a human, then uh, I, I might be able to, you know, glean a little bit of extra info. So let's, uh, let's try that. Of course, spoiler, it turns out to be absolutely fruitless. But, uh, well, fuck it, you gotta try this stuff, right? Oh, I did a, oh, sorry. I, I did a swear. They are gonna happen. Fuck it! Nope, not that away. We've uh, literally only just left and already choosing the wrong path there. So, turn back into a human, see if this makes any difference. Did I not and no, not tasks? really. Who are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. One more time. Did I not explain? And no, that really is all we're getting, so okay. I should think no. Let's oh, get the right. hell out of here. What can one do? Alright, finally. Now we're just gonna make our way pat our, our, our way back. This is uh this is the end of this video. I I wanted to keep all that in just for if anyone is watching along with this, well, I know at least uh a couple of people are watching along for this just for um, kind of my antics and the story of the game. So, uh, hi Lolly. Hi John. Uh, 
I, that's why I, you know, I like to leave in those little um, talky story bits. But uh, yeah, so now that uh, all that's cleared up, this is really just making our way to the next area and getting ready for the uh, the next video. So you recognize this place? We already cleared that out a long time ago. Was it a long time ago? God, it feels like a long time ago. It was like four days ago, Mr. B. Get your shit together. But, uh, this is uh, this is where we're going to leave it for now. Back at this uh, familiar haunt. Now we got like in terms of main pathways. I mean, there's there are a bunch of options, but our two main options at this point are uh, going into the depths, you know, which is where we started this video, or uh, we could check down there. That's a no go. How about? And this is you know just a. a Little teaser for next time. You remember down with our boy uh, Andre the blacksmith down here. Yeah, man. Now, before we head into the depths, there are a bunch of reasons why it's a good idea to go in here first. That dude and having to clear him out of the way is not one of them. But what the hell? We're going to try it anyway. So, until next time, my friends, hey! I'll catch you at that bonfire. Take it easy, y'all. Peace!